Mzani, we podcast Mzanzi, Dogote, the King Hotatu Mguni. I'm with the ghost. One and only is back. Uh, we are on episode 9. I'm with the homie. The Prisha SA. We here, we live, yeah. man. All yeah. hyped up, man. Let's get to it. Um, okay. Um, big shots. Uh, today I got nice to see. I got Aries. I know it's cliche, but yeah. Okay. And, uh, I got SPK and Gemini Major, man. Word, word, word. Open the floor, man. Oh, man. Let's talk about SPK. I don't know if I'm pronouncing the homie's name correctly, though. I think so. I <laughs> yeah, think so. yeah. So, yeah, with SPK, man, he's a, a very creative artist. Yeah. Yeah, I heard his projects, Good Friday. Yeah, man, he, he impressed me, actually. He impressed me from the production side uh, to the lyrics and how he puts his music together. He has a different feel in the sound. Understand. I remember I played you a joint, and there's a a, a, a cosine track that he has with Ricky way outside. Yeah. Uh, so he does the remix from the original. I remember that it was fire. Yeah, that's fire. So the kid has a different energy. Yeah. And he he's creative. Uh, Futubane labeled that also. It's a movement. He in the cotton, uh, candy cotton or cotton candy. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, yeah, their, their, yeah. <laughs> their brand, but either way, the, the, the movement is tight. His sound, too clean, amazing, creative artist, and I think they should pay more attention to the kid also. I'm talking, he, it's those hidden gems, uh, it's those sounds people need to listen to. You understand? He has something to say with his creativity. Musical artist or lyricist? He's a very much of a musical artist for me. Okay. Yeah, uh, the lyricist, but I would say that much because he's. Yeah, more for a, a musical artist. You, it's, one, it, it's a hit that you want to have in studio and make a beautiful song. I, I won't lie. Um, I did not know any of his work. I did. Let alone him as an artist until you played something. Oh, yeah. Uh, featuring Ricky. Sure. That track. It's a dope track. But yeah, as for his other musical band, I do not know. But I really fucked with that one joint you played. Oh, so, yeah. Also, yes, I feel like he chose the right song to represent him. Oh, yeah. He also okay. chose like... Well, I don't know if he chose or if Ricky chose to put him on, but that's a dope feature to have. Like, ah, it's a late feature. I wouldn't feature mind that concert. Exactly. <laughs> <I'll tell laughs> Unfortunately, we won't be having it, man. Uh, yeah, but I mean, I'm sure they still got gang on the vocals. Yeah, that's true. So that's like, true. That's true. It's always the case. You got the money. Yeah. So. You got the money. You got some bugs you had in from us, nigga, before you proceed. Hey, bro. Let's not talk about hey. that. Uh, <laughs> next PC. Yeah, yeah. Guy, uh, I think I said that right. Yeah. I'm Dev. The talk. Who the hell David? <laughs> the talk, bro. Yeah. What was up with that talk story? Why? What was the need? Why did he feel the need to come out with that? With the talk? Yeah. I think because I saw the people that he has on the talk. Did you see the talk? The talk. The toe, Donald's toe. What? Oh, the toe. The toe. His toe. Like, don't just say toe. Like, no, right now, let's do this. It's on um, bones, yeah. you know? <laughs> <laughs> It's really about what I'm on bones. It's all over the radio and social media. I don't even remember. Hey, um, focusing on the music, I've always said there's a very gifted artist. Um, I think for the longest time, one of the songs that really stood out for me was e- Easy. Easy is a dope song, yeah. bro. Like, for the fact that I hadn't listened to Ghana or he hadn't dropped something in a while, and then he drops that as a single. The visuals are clean. As a graphic designer, I was looking at that and I'm told it was shot with like the latest Samsung or whatever. Yeah. And at the time, too fucking clean. The editing is on point. Everything is just not. And it's simple. I mean, yeah, it is. It is. So, it is, it is. It's, it's, it's dope, man. And, uh, shit. Um, both of them as a collective, before I continue talking about Nasty alone, I don't understand the beef between these two niggas, man. Nasty and Reese, because they heard, I heard, yeah. there's this like funny clip, sort of meme nyana, where Reese is going, I heard niggas say, I sound like David, I do not sound like David. David, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Reason I saw that shape, I saw that clip. Nasty was petty ass, the reason he didn't want to work with Reese was like, he said, I don't work with artists that we sound They'll yeah, sing it a lot. Yeah. Okay. So, which is weird. I mean, I feel like that's two different sounds, but maybe that's just me. When I heard the Reese part, he mentioned that Ambitious had something to do with that. Honestly. For them not working together? Nah, like that, that, 
Bifinyana that was created, and also his social media. Yeah, because we, we know who couldn't. Yeah, yeah. I thought uh, it's 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 get nasty. Oh, that was a short. Apparently, you were, oh. I was listening to that. No, I know, I know, too. So that's that's a good fucking song. Oh, yeah, it's too late. But we'll get to this. I got, I got some bones to pick. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's continue with David. Okay, um, I hand it over to you. Your thoughts on David? Ah, David, bro. Kid is too much, bro. Yeah, yeah from Press City. Press City paved the way for him, to, for my ears. With me, my mom made, I was looking at the age, listening to the content, the pen game. Yeah. Well, it is a lot. I won't say it was a lot. It is a lot there. And how to he this day, from the past, and, to, and like listen, every project he involves from Price City, ah, uh, bad hair. Like you hear the and growth. The you know, always say, yeah, I love artists who don't like try to prove they can rap. But in that project, the kid was trying to prove a point. Yeah, he, he had, had to. Prove he it. had to. Because that's what the hammer. Casper's attention. Hammer gaze, yeah. I think Casper gave him the biggest cosign of his career. Yeah. You shouldn't care about that. Like, Cass, you feel like Cass also played a huge role because before Cass, the Swiss Bank already was making waves, if you think about it. Yeah, I don't know, but I feel like it wouldn't have made as much waves as it would, as it did. With with considering that. who Casper was in that era. Oh, yeah, true. The Puma game Casper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. So, so. That it is some source into it. Now. For real, for real. And then, um, I really appreciate watching artists grow. In terms of like, Ntwana's come up has been an amazing thing to watch. Like, he told Munti Hope with his shit as possible. Because now like he said, he was on an interview with Mac G and he's like, you know, he just dreams like the craziest dreams. Because everything that he's wished for has come true. And now he just keeps adding crazy shit to the list. Mm-hmm. And that's a dope way to live. Because the kid has connected with legends like Abu T.I., you know, projects mm-hmm. mixed by ooh, DJ Wu Kid. These are legends. So, and it shows what uh, luck and blessings go to a certain extent. It's talent yeah. call and it's recognized. No, it's not always the case, but in his case, yeah. He's yeah. lucky enough for it. Too. Yeah, but it's recognized. Yeah, but because I'm saying that's why it's what it was in the like, Yes, his yeah. blessings is that, and there's hard work, yeah. and there's consistency, and, and, and there's talent. Yeah. Yeah. So and I, can't, I, see what he I can't say see. He's, he's underrated, bro. I feel like Nasty actually got the attention he deserves. Oh, the kid like is calm. He, yeah, he got, he got way more than his 15 and, minutes of fame. And what do you think about Nasty Ghost? Yeah, uh, ghost Ghost doesn't think about that. He <laughs> doesn't say anything for today. For today. Um, okay, so that's me wrapping up Nasty. Your next start is my name. Ah, Gemini Major. Yeah. You always uh, wanted to speak about this nigga. Yeah, yeah, bro. He, 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 yeah, always, bro. I can't even tell him that. I can't even tell him that. Because it's like, he, he's like the industry see I'm called. Yeah. And it shouldn't. I understand, I shoot him. But I, 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 don't you feel like that's controlled by the work you're putting on? It is controlled by the work that you're putting, but he is putting his hands in, in words which in our corner it's not even bragged about or spoken about. Give me one. Give me one dope, proper project that you Even the ones that we're talking about, you nasty, you corner that go good respect. He has a head. No, I mean like his recent stuff. Because I need to tell you, feel like. No, in recent stuff, he's, he's low key, like, obviously. Understand? Since you would like, they're not picking up that gem lay that's under that stove. Uh, I'll have to disagree, bro. I do understand which he was underrated to some extent. Yeah. But he did get the limelight, bro. He really? did. Especially, especially, you remember in those times, bro, niggas like collabed a lot. Yeah. You know, so it was in those times where AKA was putting on JR, was putting on Burner Boy, was you know what I'm talking And then so you get okay. Gemini Major with moving Abu, Abu Nasty C and. Just a Casper, a bunch of Casper Cas- Cas- recognized. Casper Cas- Cas- recognized. No, Cas- but Cas- I'm Cas- saying Cas- like, that whole movement yeah. really did get attention. We shouldn't care. No, I'm not capping on that. I'm <laughs> just saying the, the, the hype and the energy behind his work. Like, you will hear this to talk about a lot of producers there, yeah. but he, he, Utuana is not mentioned. The is still mentioned there and there, Jeff, all the socials. And we can't compare. Yes, we can. That would be wrong of me. But anyway, let's not get into that. I'll just talk about. I'm him. wondering what you wanted to say. Are you saying <laughs> Gemini is better than Twizz? Uh, <laughs> That's what you wanted to say. Ah, uh, I, I can't. I can't really say that. I can. I can. <laughs> I can't really say that. But okay, at the same time, I don't know Twizz's work. Like, hey, Twizz is done a lot. Now, now, okay. The thing is, work. producers never get the limelight like that. That, that's what the oh yeah, that's even why I was fighting for yeah. like go and keep up because he also works with this African vibe moods and then African we hip hop. What are the benefits of being a producer as as compared to an artist? Which one do you feel like has more benefits? Uh, 
let's say if, if, if you're a producer, yeah, 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 okay, because you get recognized, obviously, and yeah, you're performing. Unless you own the rights to the music. Yeah, I was about to get to that. If you, yeah, as a producer, would like, how you're working, how you, you, you collab with the people you work with, you understand? How Mesh is playing it. Mesh is playing it smart, though. You understand? Because it's made, Mesh, when he makes a, 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 a triple call, and I was to be recognized, 808X. He integrate the project thing and then you put me, you will see LOA X like it gets in your head. It's how also you play it, Nako. That's true. Yeah, I understand. So, yeah, it's, it's different. And some people don't. But I've seen Gemini's name on so many projects. So, for me, it wasn't printed in my head. Yeah, yes, it, it is being printed. In the side side, like how he plays up. And then I was starting to recognize certain things. You understand? You were listening as a producer. Yeah, like how Azha Lang is in his end. We were like, this track, Yaga Ricky, and. In the dance, champagne six nine, chant. Yeah, yeah. Also, as producer, also by mates, it's nice. But check it out. After that, we you should. What happened to that white guy, bro? Which white guy? There was this rapping white guy, man. They rapping, what they rapping in his zoom or whatever. There was a white guy, bro. What's his name? Cause that is no, cause that is no. It can't be because you know him. So I'm wondering, I'm wondering. Shit. Hopefully it'll come back to me. Okay, I'll okay my thoughts on Gemini. Yeah, 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 cool. Ah, oh, shit, man. Um, I mean, he had some creative shit. I, I don't have anything popping. You know, usually when I talk about artists, there's always a song for me that stands out. Okay. I don't have a song by Gemini that I'm like. Okay, remember, oh, he walking and daring. Don't you think? Yeah, you, but like, I mean, like how it's an old track, man. But how he feels that. That, Feature, yeah, I never yeah. really cared much for turn up music. That's the thing. So he, he's <laughs> not he's not um, he's not a lyricist, you know. So yeah. so that makes it hard for him to stay in your head. Yeah, because yeah, like uh, that whole walking and dabbing trending music vibes. Uh, I told you what I feel about trending. I, 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 so shout out if you can get something like that, but it's not gonna grab my attention. And so, niggas gotta shout out to you for you also. Putting it how you see, that's the truth. Right. But all in all, man, a winner is a winner, so I'm not hating. Shout out to Gemini. Um, I don't know about him being underrated to that extent. I feel like he failed to capitalize on the attention he was getting yeah. back then. And um, yeah, maybe it's his choice. I don't know. But it could be because some people like really don't like it. Some niggas fall off, others choose to relax. It, like, that's the truth. Because some they're not about with their man, they must see I get this. They're not about that attention. They just too okay. Given the level of your music, bro, I don't I'm not sure he just chose to relax. I'm not sure. I don't know. He could be working right now as you speak, bro. Because you know how it is. I mean get that attention. What I'm saying is that you can be hearing an African fuse yes, in Nigeria play right now. Yeah. That could be the nigga's hand. You won't know. That's how things are right now. But the problem is with not knowing because I need to as we discuss them. That, that's what I want to get into those terms. Like, yeah. But these other things, there are some contracts that I say I say yeah. I, I give me do. give me just give me a top song for you that stands out. Uh, in, 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 in his entire production history, just give me one. Don't. Okay, give me one he produced. And then one he actually owns, like one that's his. Because he's... He... Like, you mean like he produced... That's your favorite preacher. My favorite... Your favorite on tracks he produced. Your favorite, just one. Okay, right, right, right. You know, because of the hype, I'll put it. He produced that. I don't know, I don't know, I'm not sure about he yeah. produced. Just in him. It, oh, it, it, he it, has it. a verse. Yeah. 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 It's his track, though. Right. Raga is his. Mm. Nah, for Raga, Raga's a dope song. It's, yeah, okay. it's, 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 it's an all-time classic. Because, because he featured niggas that got on there and actually spit. You see what I'm saying about the songs that get my attention. Oh, okay. Niggas spit on Raga. They spit. Casper closed it well. Too much execution. Okay. Ah, on to your next, my niggas. Um, Reese. <clears throat> I said I have a bone to pick with Reese. Shit, man. Let's hear this one. You know I always trip about the hunger, man. Back then, when he started out, bro, Reese was such a beautiful artist to listen to, no homo. Um, his work, bro, like, I really connected, I, I've always said this, I really connect with lyrics that speak to the less fortunate, because it's relatable. And it gives hope, it gives yeah, it hope. Yeah, it hope. I mean, couldn't, it's bro, couldn't was on a god tier in terms of being relatable. Yeah. The whole, um... How can you blame me? I've been eating peanut butter and jelly for dinner, I guess. You know, so it's not even a punchline heavy song, but it's just that spinning you know that real shit. Yeah, spinning that real shit that you connect to. And then 
Yeah, most recently, bro, I don't know. I feel like his best releases for me have to be the whole Couldn't Have Said It Better, better yeah. trilogy. Because I downloaded it as a whole. That's how much I fucked with it. Like, no skips. I don't pick one. I just play it from start to finish. On YouTube, you can get these niggas who, like, compile them together. Yeah, just like you can get The Heart from Part 1 to 5 by um, Kendrick. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, bro, I, I fuck with that. But then, I can't lie, there's also some... He shows up every once in a while. Maybe it's because I'm not a fan, so I only notice the songs that pop off. Like, um, Meanwhile and Honey Jew. Yeah, yeah, that was, a, that was a killer dog. That right. was a killer, like, yeah, he Amazing. Went. But for those songs yeah, that yeah. unstrictly turn up and where the focus is like bass, I have to give it to Bad Guy. Do you know Bad Guy? No. I'll play it for you after this. Right, this man. Bad Guy, there's, um, I was actually with Ghost. And oh, this is my yeah. when, when I actually heard Bad Guy the first time. I, I was like, oh, this song. And then I downloaded it. Goes, it goes with everything <laughs> you Yeah, it's fucking dope. And then, so there's bad guy for me on a lyrical perspective, like lo-fi hip-hop where the focus is just to chill, listen to what he's saying. Okay. There's that, and there's couldn't have said it first. So and then in terms of turn-up tracks, he has, he's had a good run, we can't lie. He has, he's from Paradise, bro. That, uh, that is a, that is a hit. I don't know, we can't lie. He killed that. Paradise. It's okay. I, I just don't find the new him as impactful. To me, okay, like, I hear you. Okay, with me, man, uh, how he came from the reason you from ambitious, yeah, to the risk now moving, how he's moving the post race. Uh, I feel I like the the, the new risk that's moving because it's compared to the older, no, the older one, because we just love paradise, bro. Yeah, this one we see could have been the one that was coming after the paradise we heard. If you think about it, I don't it. know about that, it, it could have been, bro, and we don't know that. Okay, and, but true, because the projects that dropped after Paradise I did not fuck with. Abu, from me to you and only you, Abu, uh, I'm not gonna lie, they did not compare to Paradise for me. I from did. a commercial perspective, Paradise was such a beautifully commercial There's no skip to me for me, till, yeah, till this day. Like, till this day. You could play it with anyone. Yeah. You know those type of... It, um, it's, it's, it's relatable with, with, yeah. with anyone and every energy. So it was heavy and what I like is like, okay, let me fix what I said earlier. Okay. I said I like struggle rap, yeah. the relatable rap. I also like what I call success music. So Paradise for me was when Reese really started getting the attention, you know, the whole chilling in Zanzibar vibes. Oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, it was nice to see an underdog win. Yeah. But that only lasts such a short time. After that, when all he talks about is those wins, I understand. It's, he's, he's spinning the life he's living, but yeah. I can't relate. Uh, but those who follow him, Can I? okay, maybe confess me, I'm not like a major, major Reese fan, mm -hmm. but I still respect uh, his music when, when I hear it. He has a talent, the pain game is still there. I'm also, I, 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 myself, the chest, I wouldn't know? call myself a major Reese fan, yeah, but I do know a lot of his catalog. And that's Danger. I'm sure yeah, he yeah. has to be with, with our homies. The only person whose catalog I do know more yeah. of is Nasty. But I really do have a fair amount of knowledge on both their work. Yeah, um, me with me, if I had to choose between Nasty or Riz music, I will choose Nasty music. Nasty or Riz? Can't choose. Me, I can't choose. Are they that bad? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I, have to go, I have to go Nasty, see? Okay. Because I feel like Riz is for stoners. Right. Um, for, in terms of like, I know, I know Nasty smokes as well, and he talks about shit from time to time. But Reese is like such a 420 rapper, <laughs> that, you know, yeah, there's niggas who would relate to that, that fuck with that sound more. For me, yeah, it has to be straight up. So, no, so I encourage a must own, There's that. Um, we covered Reese, we covered Nasty, we covered SPK, Come we covered Gemini. Um, and um, and my random thought, shit, man. Let me think, let me think. Um, what are your thoughts on the quality of visuals in SA compared to the international? Ah, uh, that is a, a very quick question that I have to answer, bro. Yeah. I think we, we, we trying to have nice visuals. Sounds offensive when yeah. I use the word trying. We, I've uh, seen some shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We, 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 we have some nice work. Some have you seen, um, Batin? 
anything by offensing us. That one is always beautiful. Oh, no, that's what I'm talking about because yeah, I was thinking of him yeah. and the message, the storyline, and the message. He does it. He does that very well. And there's, and a, there's a song. But you said you didn't hear that project. Yeah, but question or what's his name? Oh, look out. Yeah, no, I didn't hear. Yeah, visual there. It's pretty dope, you know. It's just as a guy who does basically the same thing via green screens and whatnot. Yeah. I hold that on such a high regard because I'm thinking like Marvel type of oh, you know, okay. like Marvel and DC superhero movie type of quality type shit. Yeah. But yeah, in terms of watching those visuals, I didn't pick up a lot of mistakes. It is clean work. And what do you think about Murat? How about Murat? I don't know who that is. Cloud Cassidy. It does Cassidy. It does I, I know Cloud Cassidy. Yeah, yeah, it's it. Fucking joke. Yeah. But offense is still better for me. I, I, if I had to choose, I'd go with offense. Like, if I had to do, like, because I do my own visuals, but if I had to choose someone to do it for me, you would go for offense. Go for offense. offense is too clear. Just too clear. Too clear. And, um, you know, there was something that got him on the limelight a bit for me. For him to get my attention, I'm not sure what it was, whether it was Soweto TV or you know these. Oh, they're doing a Soweto TV or a Tani TV. Yeah, yeah, I think I saw those episodes about Puma Mondo. Yeah, like they're showing the the process of him capturing. I think it was Nadia's video. I'm not sure how it was, but oh, pretty. I'm really not sure, but he was shooting visuals, and it's just so nice as someone who knows the work that goes into that. Yeah. To see the step by step, and because it gives me ideas as well, like knowledge, like, like, very, very professional dude, man. And also, I don't know him personally, but very humble or chill dude from what I can gather. Right, and he's more of a comedian, so I feel like he can get away with so much shit. Social media, the amount of comedy, yeah, 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 yeah. I check them, I check them, I check them. Yeah. Pirate films, before we close it off, pirate films, these are all, you're in club cassette, pirate films, yeah. These are all names I'm familiar with, yeah. but for me, the one that stands out, it has to be, it has to be, right. because otherwise I would have named one. And that one also came to me through Ambitious, because yeah. all of the collaborations, that like most Ambitious views were shot by the hell of the name. Do you, do you notice that? No. Mm. Yeah, I must take even from. But I've seen a lot of offense. Like whatever me, like whatever more that was like, yeah, it's working because it really works with see. a lot of niggas. Direct, is it direct? Is it that or is it Nate? Oh, it's Nate, not even that. I don't know. Maybe it's Nate Thomas, I apologize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, bro. Honestly, I don't, I don't follow a lot of these cats that offer visuals like that. No, I, I, I see them through the, 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 the songs you will be listening to. If you can give me check. a specific music video. Because Rap Life, I'm not sure who shoots for them, yeah. but they've also, back when Rap Life was still a thing, we also have like some dope visuals. Ninka Zabu Spirit is a woo. It rap life has been shooting over, but I didn't check it. Because all I would see is the rap life logo at the end. But maybe it's because I never paid attention to the other I think they would just find the direct, like, I wouldn't too much of that. I don't know if they are actually clean or in this cut in this clan, you saw my baby's a. My throne. Yeah. That's what we try in this room. So yeah, we're all tired. Yeah. But who goes to the very feed up shit? I'll shoot the whole night. Yeah, man. Uh, a dope show. Uh, as we always say, Seabwana. Uh, may God bless. Forever and ever. I'm excited for episode 10 now. I know we're here. 10 out of 10 for episode 10. Making a song right now. Let's get up. It's on. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell but we're symbolized. We are here. What's that ticket? Fetting me, guys. Yeah. <laughs>